<laughs> first couple casts on the way to go get some spear fishing. Man hasn't even had his coffee yet. Already got a steelhead in the cooler. <laughs> bro, I hope the whole the whole day's gonna look like that, dude. dude That's sick. Good. Why your hands look like that? <laughs> dude. That's definitely been a while, but we're out here again. We're going for the full trifecta today. We're gonna try to dive for some fish, maybe get some Dungeness crab. Uh, maybe go hit steelhead after, and then we're gonna go clamming later tonight for the negative tide. Um, it's been a while, dude, since I dove the Oregon coast. Last time I was diving was in December, like three months ago in Bali. I had my shallow water blackout. I haven't dove since, dude, look at the wave. Holy smokes. It's big seas today. It looks pretty rough. The waves are big, but we're gonna get in there and see what's popping. Yeah. Dang. That's the wedge. Yeah, I don't know what this Facebook group is called, but it looks lit. Absolutely lit. <laughs> Keep practicing. <laughs> is your spearfishing gonna go as good as your steelhead went this morning? I hope so. First couple casts, couple dives, and done. What are the vibes? What are vibes? What are the vibes? Vibes can kill a fish. <laughs> that baby <may be> fish, baby. Like I said earlier, this is my first time diving in a couple months and first time diving the Oregon coast in like four or five months. So this is literally the first drop. First dive is always, you kind of go down just to check out visibility, get used to the water temp, let your suit compress to your body nice and tight. And so first dive is always kind of lame, but literally on my first dive, I see this link hot out of nowhere. This never happens. I plug him right through the eyeball and I was definitely stoked to start the morning like this. So, but usually if this happens, it's almost a telltale sign that you're not catching fish the rest of the day. It's always like this with fishing. But um, the rest of the dive was pretty slow, I'd say. Uh, I only saw two more link on and they were both smaller, so I didn't shoot them. I plugged uh, two rockfish. Uh, literally, these are the biggest ones I saw. I did not see any big fish at all, but nonetheless, it was good to be in the water. I think we dove for like hour and a half, hour 45. Um, had some pretty good dive times. Um, a couple dives up to a minute and a half. So I was stoked that even though I took some time off, my lungs were still healthy. Uh, and as I was going on the way out, I came across this crab trap and I tried to pull it out, but it was anchored to some rope. So I thought, let me go put my pole spear back and cut off the rope and try grabbing it again. I don't have a crab trap. Neither do I ever need one because I usually die for crab, but I mean, if it's laying right there, might as well take it. Um, maybe next time I'm going diving, I'll throw it in at the crab pier or something. Uh, so that was it. That was a dive. Uh, it was a good morning. Visibility was probably about 10 feet and we got some fish to eat for later. So we we're stoked. It ain't my fish, but I'm claiming for my fish. So we did pretty good. The one and only link out of the day, first dive and then a couple of rockfish, and we're gonna go try to get some steelhead, and then clams, and then crabs. You. Yep. Second dive I was in there, buddy was like, dude, look, Jake, look. And I looked up, and there's literally like 50 seals, all like half moon surrounding us. Close, dude, spooky. Ain't good. <laughs> so first round of steelhead was a bust, crabbing's a bust. We're gonna try steelhead one more time. The amount of times I've seen Jake carry around this trap with no crabs. <laughs> you ever thought about investing into a truck? Sponsor Ford. We got Bobber in. Bobber's looking a little limp for some reason. But Bobber isn't. Is this spot number two? Got Jake up yonder. We 
we go, baby. We got clam. Fast like it's again. <laughs> They're a tiny one. <laughs> oh yeah, boys, I just got my first clam. My first razor clam, baby, look at this. Hey. So, it's my first time clamming. I already got three. Jake's done this before. We're using his gun and whatnot. Limit is 15, so I'm hoping we can at least get a limit on something today. Probably gonna send it home after this one. So, sunset's coming down pretty soon. Peak low tide is it for like another hour, so. We'll be out here for at least another hour or until we get our limit. We got the sunset on this side. And yeah, we got the moon rise. Oh, yeah. Show me limits. I think that's 15. I hope so. <laughs> Felon. Limits in minutes. One hour later. Now it's time to pack up home and hopefully make dinner. It's a good day. We didn't get the Dungeness Crab and I didn't get my Steelhead. Jake got his, but overall, this is my first time going for the Razor Clams. Dude, these things are pretty big. Limit was 15. We got our limit. Um, I've never caught these. I've never ate these. I've never done anything with these. So I'm going to have to watch some YouTube videos uh, before I keep filming this. Link Cod, Rockfish, both are delicious. Um, I might even chop something up tonight and uh, maybe invite a friend or two over to try to cook something up. So they got the link cod with the blue meat. I honestly don't know if there's a difference in name or breed or whatever. And then you got the link cod with uh, just regular white meat. This one is not the blue one. It just has white meat. That's a slab. We'll take that. Slab number two. It's pretty fish. I did not see a single big uh, rockfish today. Like this is one of the bigger ones I've seen all day. They make for great fish tacos. And I wanted some. So on the way out, I took a couple. I took two. Definitely not the best fillet job. I'm just trying to get it done over with. So I could get to the razor clams, figure that out, and uh, try to cook that up tonight because I'm hungry. Dude, today was a good day. We kind of got, we thought we were going to have more time. We lost a little time when we went and checked out my friend's property and stuff. So we couldn't 
dedicate too much time to steelhead fishing. We couldn't even go where we wanted to. We had to check out some new spots and kind of, I don't know, just got skunked. Or they weren't really, they didn't look too fishy. Also, don't take notes. I'm gonna absolutely fly through this fish. Could definitely be saving more meat. Let's see, these napkins are not making it easy. All right, fish is done. I'm gonna go look up how to clean these, call some friends, see if anyone wants to come over. I just watched a video on how to do one and I definitely butchered it, but um, <laughs> I'm gonna record myself doing the next one. So, dude, these things are, these things are gnarly. I've, I've caught scallops a couple months ago and that was my first time messing with those. And those were a lot easier. These things are like still alive and moving and squirting on you. Nah, bro, ain't no way. Ain't no way this house is supposed to look. After you're done cleaning it, ain't no way. Like that. So we got the link on, we got the rockfish, link cod, and we got the clams on. First time trying the clams. We got the clams, we got the fish, and we made some quick noodles. Let me give you a quick zoom. All right, first hit of the clam. <laughs> first of all, I don't even know if it's cooked. I didn't even check. Fire, Is it cooked? Mm -hmm. Really? It tastes like it's definitely cooked through. Oh, God. Bro. Honestly, it slaps. Yeah. Link cod and rockfish is fire. We already know that. So, we ate the oysters. I mean, the razor clams. We ate everything else. It was absolutely fire. I finished chucking the rest of the clams. Probably gonna invite some boys over. We're gonna cook the remainder of the fish and the clams. It's uh, almost one o'clock at night. It's been a long day, but a good one.